I love the snipers in Phantom Forces. Having frequently used this class of weapons throughout my 5 years playing this game, I have gotten to know the various snipers really well. From the fast firing scout and Mosin, to the powerful 50 cals, I've thoroughly enjoyed every single one of the weapons in the recon category, except for this one. And my experience with these guns has led me to consider them some of the best weapons in the game. But as good as I believe the snipers are, I will always maintain that the Intervention is the best sniper in the game, maybe the best gun in the game overall. But why do I like it so much, to the point I've made it my official gun Sona OC, do not steal by the way. As I like to see it, this gift from God takes all the best attributes of the sniper rifles and combines them into one impressive metal tube. Power. Starting with its damage, which is the best of all the snipers outside of the 50 cals, being able to one shot to the torso at 150 studs. The next best sniper in this regard is the K14 with a respectable 104 studs. If you misjudge bullet drop or are quick scoping at close to mid range, the power of the intervention will make sure your targets drop dead. And even if you hit a limb shot, they will only be one shot away from death. Should your enemies duck behind cover, they had better hope they aren't spotted because the intervention's 4 stud penetration power is higher than all the snipers minus the 50 cals. Running away isn't a good option for them either, as the intervention's muzzle velocity of 3200 studs per second, the best default muzzle velocity in the game, makes hitting moving targets easier than on other rifles. The power of this gun will ensure that your DPS will rival that of aggressive AR users from behind the front lines. Heck, it can even rival those nasty 50 cals if you're precise enough. The mighty strength of this intervention is complemented by the weapon's endurance. As if the power wasn't appealing enough, the intervention has stats that allow it to last longer in gunfights. Its ammo capacity of 7 plus 1 is ahead of 5 other rifles and is joined 3rd in class behind the other 5. With a bigger magazine, the reduced time spent reloading will be spent instead securing kills and follow-up shots. Additionally, its steady time is the 2nd longest amongst the snipers, granting users longer uninterrupted focus upon targets. Merging these two attributes gives players who love to camp an edge against enemy snipers and unlucky stragglers. However, the intervention does suffer slightly in the field of handling. But before we get to the underwhelming parts, the RPM of the intervention is average for the sniper category. It's similar to or higher than 8 of the other 13 snipers. Personally, it isn't a big deal to me that the intervention doesn't fire fast. I usually snipe from behind the front lines, and in CQC, I tend to use my 93R. Anyway, there's no denying that the reload speed and ADS speed of Shaytac's finest is quite lacking. Possessing the second longest empty reload time at 5.9 seconds, and the tactical reload speed on the slower side of the category. Thus, you will need to manage your reloads wisely so as to not get caught unprepared for a fight. Meanwhile, the intervention's aiming speed of 10 is the joint third worst aiming speed between all the snipers. While many would consider this a downside, I'd say it benefits the player by making up for the intervention's lack of iron sights. The long ADS time will allow you to line your bullets up more precisely as you aim down your sights. Not only does this make your shots more accurate, it also centers your shots towards the middle of your crosshair. Doesn't seem so bad now after all, does it? Having listed down a remarkable list of stats, the intervention is undoubtedly a great sniper rifle. Lighty, what makes the intervention great compared to the other sniper rifles? Well, to begin the justification of my statement, the intervention itself is a combination of everything good about the other sniper rifles. It is a mix of a large ammo capacity, powerful bullets, decent handling, and best-in-class bullet speed, leaving it with no obvious weaknesses. Compare this to the M107 and Steyr Scout, although they have overwhelming power and superb handling respectively, their clear weaknesses will hinder their abilities to perform under certain circumstances. Additionally, whereas you may need to spend credits on attachments to overcome the weaknesses of most other snipers, the intervention stats don't require you to invest anything at all. For instance, the M107 requires a skeleton grip to improve its handling, the Mosin needs an extended mag to increase its ammo capacity, and the TRG-42 needs a long barrel to come close to the intervention's muzzle velocity. Stats that need to be purchased on other snipers come by default on the intervention. Next, as a result of its lack of weaknesses, the intervention is a reasonably versatile rifle that can adapt to any situation you find yourself in. For aggressive players in close quarters, the okay handling and high damage will quickly eliminate threats with ease. 
While at further distances, campers will adore the large ammo capacity and excellent muzzle velocity that will keep your enemies on edge. This adaptability also makes it the best rifle for beginner snipers. The flexibility of the intervention will help novice snipers discover their preferred style of sniping after involving themselves in a variety of situations. They may move on to more situational weapons as they develop their playstyles, but they will always have the intervention to thank for opening the door to them. I wouldn't be surprised if this was an intentional decision by stylists to make sniping less intimidating to newbies. What can I say, they take really good care of us long rangey boys. Overall, the intervention is a powerful and versatile all-rounder that is both effective in the hands of experienced players and inviting to new players. Throughout its long history in PF, I've always considered it an S-tier weapon, even at its darkest times not long ago. I actually prefer the longer ADS time as it would help me to line up my shots easier. It's in a great state now, and I hope that this staple of the game and most iconic gun in PF I know, shut the f*** up. will continue to be enjoyed for years to come.